All right, welcome back to Mr. Mathwell. This is a video from Workplace 20. Uh, I'm doing this video in an English accent. I'm trying to uh, r think of myself in Wembley Stadium watching a football game. And uh, so here we go, um, right, right away, here we go. Uh, surface area of a sphere. Okay, surface area of a sphere is actually really strange. It's really very strange. It's like, the sphere is like a soccer ball, all right? So when I, when I go to Wembley Stadium and I watch the football game, and I see them kick the ball around, I think, what is the surface area of that sphere? <laughs> That's what I think, because I'm a math teacher, and what am I supposed to do? But think about what is the surface area of that sphere? And my, my accent is probably a complete disaster. I don't know. If anyone from England is watching this, you can tell me in the comments below just how much of a disaster this accent really is, because I have no idea where I'm from. Anyways, kind of got a little bit of Scottish in there too. <laughs> okay, back to English. Okay, I'm watching the game. All right, so the surface area for a sphere is actually quite interesting. I have no idea where it comes from. It's like not logical at all. But the surface area for a sphere is this right here. You see it? So the little soccer ball, all right, which is probably about this big, right? Uh, right? Uh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Surface area for a sphere is 4 times pi times r squared. R squared. All right, let's just go Scottish then. Fine, I'm going to go all the way Scottish, all right? <laughs> I'm still at the ball game, but I'm cheering for the other side now, all right? I'm cheering for the Scots now. All right, you got it? Because I totally, totally lost the English accent, okay? So don't, don't even laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. All right, so this ball is about, oh, I don't know, what you see, it's about, I don't know, about 30 centimeters. I don't know, 30 centimeters. So about, the radius is about 15. The radius is about 15 centimeters. And the surface area of the solar ball, if we're talking about centimeters squared here, I can't think about this too much, I've got to tell you. Then we've got surface area equals 4 times pi times 15 squared. 15 squared, 15. If it was 100, it was 15. 15 squared. All right. So what is that? Let's get, let's get on our calculator here. It's a calculator I got when I was... When I was watching the sheep down in the border colony there, down there, down by Carlaverick Castle. My family used to own Carlaverick Castle. Did you know that? It's an actual place in Scotland. The Maxwell family owned Carlaverick Castle for many, many years. That's right. Warrens of the West March. We were. All right. So four. Ta I'm going to go to Scotland someday, too. I'm going to try this accent and see if I can fool anyone. They'll say, what are you, mad, man? You're mad. What are you talking like that for? I am in quite the mood today, I've got to tell you. So four times five, t no, anybody know what 15 squared is? You should have that memorized, anyone know? Yes, 225, too late. Four times five, five, pi, time, what do we got? I got 28, 20, 28, 27? Yeah. You got 28, 27? Yeah. No, you don't, you've got 28, 27 yeah. from Scotland. It's got to be the measurement from Scotland. Ah, where'd it go? Surface area. 20, eight, oh, it's probably down here too. Oh no, this isn't a soccer ball. What am I doing? Making up my own. 28, 27? 28, 27. Now that would be about a centimeter squared, okay? Centimeter squared. So about 2,000 centimeters squared for the surface area. So if you, if you actually were shearing the sheep, okay, and you wanted to have a little lamb chop later in the day, I know this is a gross thought, okay? I know it's gross, but people eat lamb chops and they come from lambs. If you eat a lamb chop, and you want to make a soccer ball, you've got to take at least 2,827 centimeters to make a soccer ball out of a sheepskin. We've got a really morbid there at the end, didn't we? Oh, I'm so sorry. But you can eat a haggis too. You can get the haggis, you can eat the haggis too. You should talk about how you live on a potato farm. Oh, the pot Ireland. Oh, I grew up in Ireland, actually. I was living on a potato farm. Oh, Ireland. Oh, I had a pot of gold there, too. <laughs> I can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. <laughs> like, subscribe. subscribe. Go to MrMathwell.com. He'll be there waiting for you with a pot of gold.